Alaska's Columbia is one of the biggest ocean-feeding glaciers in North America. In the early 1980s, the Columbia started flowing faster and began calving far more ice into the ocean than was being replenished by snowfall upstream. Baylog and the Extreme Ice Survey glaciologists are trying to figure out how much ice the Columbia is losing and whether or not it can survive. In the shallow waters of Columbia Bay, melting icebergs jam up before being carried away with the tide. This is the end of the line for the Columbia, a crystal maze of deteriorating ice that draws Baylog in. Here. Basically, we're looking at a whole landscape full of crystals. It's a cool spot. There's a lot of power here. It seems to be calm. It seems to be still. But there's this constant energy of the sea coming and going and tearing this huge glacier away. Every time you go in here, you're taking a risk because these bergs are inherently unstable. But you get seduced by the beauty of it. You know, you just get drawn in. It's like the, the sirens of Columbia Bay pulling you in, luring you in, going, come to me, come to me, come to me. And you just keep following these beautiful objects back through the labyrinth. But OK, Jeff, right about on this line here. The light that really makes these sculptures come alive is bouncing off the surface of the water. So the bergs are lit from within. Oh. At the Extreme Ice Survey Camp, glaciologist Tad Pfeffer tracks the flow of the Columbia. As the glacier moves, it churns up dirt and rocks that collect on its surface. The Columbia is so vast, it's hard to imagine it vanishing. Pfeffer and his colleague Shad O'Neill are taking its vital signs measuring the speed of the glacier over several years to determine whether it's speeding up or slowing down. To do this, they fire a laser survey gun at reflective targets that they must deploy on the surface of the ice. As the pilot hovers a few inches above the glacier, O'Neill positions the target onto the ice. Pfeffer locks on to the target and shoots a laser that reflects back to the stationary gun, recording the position. I got it, you're good, come on back. Okay, first one down. 1.1 kilometers away. The target moves with the ice. By tracking its movement with a laser over several days, they will be able to calculate the speed of the Columbia. Just down the fjord, Baylog and extreme ice survey engineer Adam LeWinter climbed down to one of the time-lapse cameras they installed a year ago. Oh, yes, here it is. Here Still it is. all there? Yeah, the camera's here, but nice. what happened to the glacier? When I was here a year ago, the calving face was just right there. All right, we have pictures. 